All right. Here, um, you're welcome. Here, we want to start uh, by by exposing you to some common derivatives, right? We are not going to prove this, but these are very important for you to know that the derivative of e to the x exponential function is just e to the x. All right, and most of these you can actually prove using the first principles. Uh, we are not just proving them; we are not proving them here, um, but you need to know them. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Later, um, we'll try to understand how then do you find the derivative of let's say e to the two x or e to the five x or three x and so on. We can use the chain rule to do that. Okay. So, but note that these basic ones are very important. B to x of e to the x is that the derivative of lean x is one over x. It's really the derivative of what is in the lean divided by what is in the the derivative of x is one all over the argument of this is just x. The derivative of sine x is cosine of x. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine x and the derivative of tan x is sex squared x. Alright? You can use the uh, quotient rule for example to prove this because tan is sine x over cos x, right? So you could apply the quotient rule on this one, find the derivative, and then you can show that it is equal to the sex squared of x. Okay, so keep this in mind, and then we are going to use some of these to do uh, a few examples right now, and then we'll do uh, some more examples to, uh, to finish off this. Okay, so suppose now that, now we know this, question is, how do you find this? How do you uh, how do you work out this? Some examples. So we want to look at some examples of um, using some of these common derivatives uh, to find to solve some problems. So we want to evaluate find d dy the y the x of y is equal to e to the c by x. How do you find the derivative of that? Y is equal to ln of let's say 4x, how do you find the derivative of that? y is equal to x over sine x. And then finally, let's do that y is equal to, let's say, cosine of x squared minus 2x. All right? So we're going to use the chain rule, right? Still, we're going to apply the chain rule here. Um, and based on knowledge of the basic derivatives, then we can, we can find the solution to that. Okay? So basically, dy dx is equal to 1. Okay. So, question um, 1 y is e to the 5x. Remember, remember that we know how to find the derivative of e to the x. It's just e to the x. But now, this is not just x, you have a factor of 5. Right? That is multiplying here. So using the chain rule, you let u be equal to this guy here. This becomes your inner function, 5x. So y now becomes y is equal to e to the power u. So now this is simple, right? This is similar to the e to the x. We know that d dx of this is just e to the x. So if you have u here, the derivative of y with respect to u will just be e to the power u. That is what makes it easier. All right. So u is this, y is that. By the chain rule, dy dx can be written as dy du, then du dx. Right? Good. What is dy du? dy du, the derivative of this with respect to u is just e to the u. Right? It's just e to the u. Part of du dx, the derivative of this with respect to x is just 5. So this is just 5. Okay? So this is equal to 5 times e to the u, but u is actually 5x. So this is 5x. So the derivative of y, which is e to the 5x, is just 5 times e to the 5x. So what we have done really is that we found the derivative of this, which is 5 and just multiply it by the function itself. 
So whenever you have exponential functions, that is how you find the derivative. So dy dx is equal to this. So suppose that I had e b d s of e to the whatever 10 x. All right, this would just be equal to the derivative of this is what is 10. So you have 10 e to the um, 10 x. Okay, if we have, so let me get rid of this and I'll show you a few more. You can also show that if I had e, if I have y is equal to e to the x squared plus 1, it's going to be the same thing, dy dx will be equal to, find the derivative of this. That is what? That is 2x, the derivative of this is 1. So this is 2x. So I'm going to have 2x multiplied by the whole function, x squared plus 1. Okay, if I have y is equal to uh, e raised to the power 5x squared minus 2x or plus 2x. You do the same thing. You can use the chain rule, right? dy dx, if you use the chain rule, it will be the derivative of this. This will be your u, which is 5x squared plus 2x multiplied by the whole function x squared plus so you can use the chain rule to prove, try it, to show that this is equal to that, and also show that the derivative of y is equal to this. Try that using the chain rule. But that is the rule whenever you have exponential functions. Okay, good. Let's do um, the second one. Lane number two, y is lane 4x. We can use the chain rule as well. Remember, we know how to find if y is lin x. We said that dy dx will just be 1 over x. Okay? So if I have u here, if y is, oh, I think uh, you are probably not seeing this. If y, we know that, note that if y is lin x, we know that dy dx is 1 of x, right? So if y is lean of u, then dy du, du will still be 1 over u, right? In here it was a function of x. Here y is a function of u, right? So it's easy. So what we're going to do is that we'll let our inner function be this, which is u, okay? So let's u be 4x, which means that y is now plane of u. Okay? So, by the chain rule, dy dx is dy du multiplied by du dx. Right? Now, what is dy du? dy du just the one over u. Right? Based on the other the knowledge below, 1 over u. Multiply by u dx, find the derivative of this respect to x, it's just 4, right? This is just 4. And so this is equal to 4 over u, we know u is 4x, so this is 4x, right? 4 will so cancel out, so this is just equal to 1 over x. Okay? So dy dx, finally we see that it's just 1 over, 1 over x. All right, good. So that is that. This one, number three, y is equal to y, number three, y is equal to x over sine of x. Here it is a quotient, so apply the quotient rule. All right, so dy dx will be equal to, take this up and leave it, sine of x, multiplied by the derivative of this, derivative of x is just 1, right? This is multiplication. Minus, leave x, and then find the derivative of sine x, 
that is cosine of x. All of this over the square of that sine x squared. Okay, so finally we can rewrite this as sine x times 1 is just sine x minus x cosine of x all over sine squared of x. Therefore, dy dx is equal to that. Okay? If this could be simplified, we just simplify it. But that is that is uh, that is it. There's nothing to it. Okay. Let's finish off with uh, number four. Number four, we want to find y dx, but that's you y is equal to cosine of x squared minus two x. We are going to use the chain rule again. So it likes we are going to let u be the inner function, which is this. Let u be equal to x squared minus 2x, which means y is just equal to cosine of u. Okay? So by the chain rule, dy dx again is dy du du dx. Good. So this is equal to what is dy du? The derivative of y with respect to u will be negative sine of u, right? Negative sine u multiplied by du dx. Find the derivative of this with respect to x. This will give us 2x minus 2. So this is times 2x minus, minus 2, right? 2x minus 2. Remember to replace the u with x's, right? So this is equal to negative, I'm going to bring this factor first, 2x minus 2, multiplied by sine of u, but u is this, x squared minus 2x. So dy dx is negative, 2x minus 2, multiplied by sine of x squared minus 2x. Okay? So that is how you, uh, you apply the chain rule. The last bit that we'll look at um, under this differentiation will be looking at implicit differentiation. So look at implicit, implicit differentiation later on. All right.